Greetings. Today we did some more experimenting with the NFED half-wave antenna. I've been playing with these antennas for two years and never really put a lot of effort into understanding the purpose of the compensation coil. On the commercial versions of the NFED half-waves from my antennas and other companies, some point right here they add a little coil and the idea is to bring down the resonant frequency on 10 meters at least that's what I've always been told so today I did some measurements to find out the effect of the coil and we made a coil and put it in at the 2 meter point so about right in here we put a coil two meters from the transformer. Now two meters is about 78 inches. So from here to the beginning of the coil is 78 inches. And the coil is five turns and it's wound around a one inch diameter form PVC form and uh, five turns <coughs> enameled wire is what we used. It's 14 gauge. So I think that's all the information you need. And um, we simply cut our antenna wire and inserted it right here. Now this is an inverted L antenna and it's a 134 feet long total. It covers 80 through 10 meters. The problem with it is although it's resonant on the low end of 80 meters, by the time you get up to 10 meters the resonant point is way up at the 29 megahertz part of the 10 meter band. So the idea behind this coil is that it is located at a point where there's enough current through it, the inductance has the effect to lower the frequency, and the, the uh, higher the frequency is, the more effect this coil will have. So we did some tests on it, and uh, here's what we found out. That on 80 meters, Excuse me. We found that the frequency, the resonant frequency, dropped by 22 kilohertz down. And then on 40 meters, the resonant frequency dropped by 57 kilohertz. And on 20, we dropped by 170 kilohertz. Now we were up at about 14.2 uh, or so, so this put us down close to the CW part of the band, which is where I wanted to be. Um, on uh, 15 meters, we dropped 400 kilohertz and we were way way up at the top of the band and now this dropped it down into the CW part of the band right uh, around 21.05 uh, or something like that and then on on uh, 10 meters we dropped 1 megahertz so we were resonant at about 29 megahertz and this dropped it down to 28 so that put us down in the CW part of the band. Now the first thing I tried was using seven turns of this wire and it put me down in the CW in this in the CB part of the band so we just took off two turns. Now that wire is close spaced it's bunched up really good and tight and I've got a, a electrical tape wrapped around it just to uh, hold it in place. And of course, if you spread the turns out, uh, that's going to decrease the amount of inductance, and that would tend to, to raise the resonant frequency a bit. 
uh, so you can play around with this but um, anyway that's uh, that's what we found out and for the CW operator this is quite beneficial putting you down in the CW part of every band now if you're a sideband operator a phone operator strictly you probably don't want the coil you want it to be resonant way up there in the phone part of the band the only problem is is that the antenna on on 80 meters is a bit too long to resonate up in the uh, phone portion of the 75 meter band and we came up with a cure for that in another video but uh, what that involved was going to the halfway point of our antenna and inserting a capacitor and the value of that capacitor is somewhere between 250 and 500 picofarads depending on how high you want to go in frequency that will raise the frequency on 75 meters only and uh, it will not affect the other bands that's the nice feature about this little thing so um, I like I say there is another video that I made that uh, gives more detail about this but doing that would uh, and eliminating the coil uh, would make it uh, a nice a, a nice uh, antenna for just the phone portion of the band only so um, this is different from what I thought I didn't think that the coil would have much effect on uh, 40 meters for instance but actually it did it dropped it down nicely into the CW part of the band and especially on 20 I was elated to see that it dropped it uh, from 14.2 down into the uh, CW portion of the band 15 meters was a real bonus so I'm very happy with it I'm just going to leave it in place and uh, hope this was beneficial thank you for watching and 73